the first thing you do when you approach a horse is to start playing your games with them with a friendly game to get the emotional aspect out of control. Mental. Mental aspect Mental. and get his respect, gain some respect and right. some communication. Right. So that being said, I just want you to understand this. Um, if this horse wasn't friends with me, which way would his head be pointing? Away in his butt be, towards you. Right. So obviously he's not very scared of me, right? And he's kind of nuzzling on me and stuff. So that's the friendship. They call that the draw, right? So he's drawn to me, right? Because he's wanting, see, look at him. He's looking at me and them hips are going. So that's the start of it. If you notice when you put horses in a round pen, people that aren't very good, what happens? Their head looks over the fence and their ribs are against you and they're going around the round pen like this. Not very friendly. So that's the, why we put them on a line, is that we can start to get a hold of them, right? And watch, I didn't even pull. His head comes to me, his butt goes away. So that's the first, that's the friendly part, is starting to get them to look at you, right? So you can start to get that arc in the body, right? If I was to get, and then the next part is, once I got on here, let's just say it was on here. See how this arc right now is kind of going, right? And if I was in a bind, I would pull the head to me like that, right? So I could get control, right? That would be, so now we're starting to get up there on the back. And, and if the emotional part, which is does your go meet your woe, start to get out of control, we would bend them, right? Like that. And then we put a bit in their mouth. And now we're starting to get... Let's just say that now we can get control of them like this. Then the, the trick is, is, is I want to get into this today, is the forward part. So I was on a horse this week that bucked, that wasn't mine. I was just hanging out with a friend. And I noticed, uh, and I, it's real clear to me now, but when you, that horse had not been taught, when you squeeze them to go forward, when I got on and it got a little disgruntled, and all of a sudden I have to kind of squeeze to hang on, it didn't know to go forward, so what did it do? It went up and down. So I really want to teach you the forwardness now, today, because you're going to be um, not seeing me after today. And I want you to have confidence that you can start cantering circles. And you need to know how to get your horse to go forward. So when we grab your horse here, it can come forward, whether it be with this rope or with your body. I did a thing this summer with you folks about showing you how to squeeze with all four cheeks and teach them horses how to go forward. That's what I want to get on through to you today. And then once we get that, then we're going to start getting, um, put it in on the circle, right? And then just doing the stand the shoulders up, pull the shoulders through, don't hang on to them. So one of your things is, is that you want to, when you get in a bind, if this was your horse here, you want to go like this and like, oh, I want to stop this horse. I, I, it's moving rather than like this and bend it around, right? So flexion is a big thing. I probably skipped over this a little bit and my video is getting kind of long here. But again, is that if things get out of control, flex, right, like this, right? Flex. See, this could be softer yet. Okay, see things get out of control. Right? And when I did that to this horse this week, it kind of just pulled on my hands. So you want to get them really soft, side to side. Then you start getting them moving them forward, and we're going to put two reins together eventually so we can lift them up. Right? You're real close. It's not that hard. And after that, you're going to have probably a horse that's way broker than, than most. Okay? So let's get into it right now. Walker knows the names of these games right off by heart now. Oh, look at that. He just got this horse rotating. Keep going, bud. Get, a, get us a lap. Okay. Now let me teach you about your phases there a little bit. You're, 
Remember not to go to phase four right off the bat, right? It's hair first. Wiggle that stick a little bit. Come on, bounce that stick off his ribs. Rhythmic pressure, yup. That'll lighten that hand up. Bounce that stick. There you go. Now, better keep keep that keep working on that. And we're gonna go over here to your mom. She's on rhythmic pressure. And bump, bump, bump with your hand when he's pushing on you like that. Your left hand. So don't be scared to watch, watch. I'm gonna grab this phone here. And don't be scared to go boom, boom, boom when they're leaning on that hand up there. See how them ears are pricked back and he's always, so do you, you got to get good with this, with this hand going bump, 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 bump. Don't lean on me. You can start, so, yep, yep, come see, yep, yep, grab back on that again, okay. this to an expression. You just want to, you just want to test me here. Not bad. See how them ears are pricked? He's always done that, right? So I'm just gonna, I can, I can start and stop. And try again here. Get a little better attitude to where I want him to, rather than concentrate on biting me, that he concentrates on moving his feet. Okay, so you got a good, good walker. Walker's doing rhythmic pressure. Come on. Very good. There you timed it to a very good expression, Jacqueline. And want to watch Walker here. You're kind of fumbling with us a little bit. Go to phase four. Bump that nose, buddy. Get that moving. Good. Now quit and good. Again, time it to a good expression. Good. Yo-yo game for Walker. Great job. And what are you going to do now, Walker? Exactly. You're going to relax, cock a leg, whistle, cock a leg. Come on. Like, put a bend in and you know what, cock a leg. Yeah. So you're a neutral. You're like, good job. Right? Horses live to be comfortable, lazy. So he likes to rest back there. Good. Now bring him in, Walker. Long strokes. And start closing your hands. And getting the hands are getting warmer and strong and there and they pop open. Good job. Good, a lot better expression. Just one more time for me. Just take off again from there. If you can. Ah, uh -uh. see how you just went and pushed? Friendly game. Get that friendly, get them, get rubbing. Remember what I did? I rubbed his ear, I rubbed his nose. And but have your hand in that hooked in that halter. Like play the friendly right from there, yes. Keep it hooked in that halter. Yes. Yes. And get him soft. There. Get him soft right there. Very good. Good. So, with a very good move, the hindquarters. Pinky up for an indirect rein. Horse steps underneath his belly. Has a great attitude on his face. Good job. Any pressure on the other side. Moving the forequarters around the hindquarters. We're really timing this to a good expression. So, you had this horse nipping on her pinning its ears. We want to get rid of that. Starts with a good friendly game. Really get that nose going now. See how he's looking back at you? Uh-uh. Get that nose going. See how he's looking back at you? Yes. Lift that up. Bump, bump, bump. Yes. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, yes. And quit. Good. Here. Pinky up. See if she was in the saddle. How I say that pinky up and in. And that, that gets that horse to step underneath there. And I just want you to show the people this hindquarter over here. That pinky operates this, 
this part of this and makes him step this part of the hind quarter over like that and then he steps under perfect perfect so let me see that again Jacqueline this horse is and don't be scared to bump him for a bad attitude there yes see how you're leaning on him with your left hand don't lean on him it's rhythmic pressure bump 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 get far enough away to where he can see where you're coming yes bump 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 now bump it Bump them. See how you're, there you go. Good. Now quit. Okay. Out of the barn, but I've tried that a few times and he keeps telling me I can't go to the barn. So he's just testing me there, right? And I said, no. Watch. See now, see now that brains. But he's got to move this shoulder too. So here's the thing. See, he's he's wanting to put this ass to me right now. So watch. So I got to mix it up a little bit here in the fact that good. One good step. That's all I need. See, and then he tried to root root on me right there. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No forward movement. forward not forward okay you get that okay pretend like he's went around three times bring him back in off that shoulder Good bring back here. Very good. Good job. Very good. Two eyes. Good job. Not bad. Look where you want him to go and just shorten up and do it again. Just keep staying rhythmic. Don't quit. Yep, you're doing awesome. Good job. Very good. Back to neutral. Did you burn your hand, buddy? That was completely awesome there, uh, um, Jacqueline. Very good, buddy. There's a bring back. Good. Pinky up. Good. Very good. Two eyes. Good. Awesome job. You look like you're knowing what you're doing. There we go. Let that slide. Stay on the wall. Tap that butt. Mean it. Tap the ground hard. Like tap them underneath the belly too. Stay on the wall. Yes. Smack the wall. Yes. Now the butt. Hind quarters, four quarters, hind quarters, four quarters. Good. Get ready to go the other way. Good job. Good send. Let that slide. Bang the wall, bang the ground, bang the wall, bang the ground. Let him slide. Let that cord slide. Bang that, bang the ground hard, like mean it. Yes, good, good, there you go, good job. Okay. Good. Okay, roll them in. Can, it's not that you can't leave them out there longer, but for the camera, I like minute. 
Walker's getting set up for a squeeze game. See, this horse is wanting to take over and do the sideways, and Walker's saying, nope. Got to stay in neutral here. Now he sends him around. Good. So you see how great this is for getting your horse warmed up before you climb up on that back? This horse is fresh. You do the games on the ground, and you, you, you kind of get the the cream off the top of the milk so he's better to ride. You're not struggling with the horse and just being uh, fed good. So I'm showing you this folks because Walker's horse wants to take over and you see how Walker's like nope this is just so you didn't ask him to do that so you just keep get back on the wall and walk backwards. I know you didn't ask and you know he didn't. He just run you over there. Uh-uh. Did you ask? I didn't see you put your hand up and send him, did you? No, because he just took over. So get that stick so where it's, there you go. Good job. Very good job. Lots better. Okay, so I was a little bit worried about um, making sure that you get the point here on your horse in the steady pressure game when you're pushing on its head. Just like that there, it's kind of rubbing on you, right? And I'm noticing it in all of your other stuff where he's kind of coming in your space and you're kind of like, yeah, get off. Uh-uh, you've got to get that to where he's like out of your space and I'm giving you them things just like when we first started on this horse. What was the, one of the first things is like the elbow rhythmically. It's like, get off of me, get off of me, get your head all them little things right there, they seem so childish. But look, you haven't really got the gist of them. And I come here today, and when you were pushing on this horse's muzzle, he was just giving you the... And that's just going to lead into everything else that you do, right? To where the bottom line is we want him to get where he gets soft on this, soft on this, and soft on these, right? That's not going to happen if he's going like this to you on the ground on the little things that you're doing, right? It's kind of so we can get him to where he's like, like that there has got a lot of respect and he was like, yes ma'am or yes sir, okay? Very good Sam, very good. Go a little farther. Yep. It's like a blind man. He's just getting your way. Good. That's good. Very good. Good. Put your stick in your near hand. Slide by his nose. Okay. Good. Good. And rub the hind quarters. All right. So this is for a student that I forgot last week. They were like, my horse will not let me on the right side of him. I can get everything done on the left side, but I can't, when I go to get over there on this side, the right side, he puts his nose in the way and won't let me over there. All right, so there's two things that you gotta be able to do. Number one, just back up a little bit. Um, Jacqueline, because oh, I'm gonna hit sorry. you. If you're, so number one, you gotta have control of the hind quarters. All right, you gotta be able to get them out of the way. All right. The other thing is, is that watch how here, because you were just doing it in the sideways game, when this stick is in the near hand, it's my friendly hand. Watch, underneath the shank, and see how I can bump that nose out of the way and get back here to the hind quarters and rub, okay? When it's in the knee, now if it's in the, now this is the other hand, it's the controlling hand, where I can now, it's, that was the controlling hand. Watch it go in the near hand, underneath the shank. Watch how it blocks the nose, right? To where I can get back here to the hind corners and rub. So I'll try and get this for that girl. But here's a, here's a, here's a really good thing to do, is even in your yo-yo game, and this, is, this will teach you how to catch horses better, right? When you're online, pretend like you're off, you don't have a line on them. And when you do have, when you don't have a line on it, pretend like you do have a line on it. So watch this. So this is a good thing for this girl. Like if she puts up, puts that 12 foot lead, watch my, watch it stay on the ground. My stick slides underneath. 
and I just head to the hindquarters. Just a great little game to play right here. I get back out there, out here again. Watch now I can keep this on the ground. Put the stick under here. You're just having a long arm to where you can get back here, right? If you watch, you watch horses. A lot of times if you watch them, control the hind quarter and you two eyes. Okay, if you watch horses, if he figures out which side I want, he'll stick his nose in my way. So I'm always good at, at getting ready. So let's just say I want down the near side. So see how that nose, I could get it ready by bumping it out of the way, horseman hands, or just get my long arm out here and get it ready, see. So you see how that can, that can work for you in the pasture when you need to catch your horse. See how I'm not pulling you on this line? It's on the ground, right? I'm not, I got, not pulling on the line. I'm just testing to see how good a job I've gotten done. So that's for that student that's having trouble to get to getting down the other side is, is practice that game. But again, she probably needs, if that horse was to tip his nose badly on the right hand side, I would put pressure here, just like that. Now he's ready for me to get down this side. Just a great little exercise there to, uh, pra to practice uh, uh, how to catch your horse out in the pasture. Squeeze game for Jacqueline. Okay, so good job. But did you see how there wasn't a lot of respect? And why is that? Right, You're, you got her. This, again, Jacqueline, is more about a human teaching course. I don't care about your horse. I care about Jacqueline getting this because I'm not going to be around you here in the next month. Not bad. So if you want him to make it further, you'd even send him better, right? Or harder. Okay? Watch all this big movement showing here. So he gets used to my butt moving and my feet down. Two, three, four. Go to the horn, sit down, stab your knee. There I go. Loose rein, rub. Rub that horn, that friendly game that we start. I want to see some reaches. Okay, watch. One, two, three. 
Watch how my butt's moving. He, four, so what he moves. Stand down. Go to the horn. Sit there. Do nothing. Look at the ground. Oh, he stopped. Bravo. He's moving again. One, two, three, four. Go to the horn. Stand up. Sit there. Do nothing. Walk or move with that camera. It's hard for the people to see. Come walk up here. Get this. It looks good for you there, but it's, I know what it looks like. See now how he stopped? And he let go. Rob, friendly game. You can do this whole game with a good team shot and watch. Watch. This is what I want you to get good at today. See if I'm up here, Kyle. So your next one is, and this is so important for, for where you're at, Jacqueline, and for my people again on showing them on how to teach a horse to go. Guess where? Now I'm going to bend them. One, two. See how they're loose? I'm not holding like this going. One, two, three. See how it's loose? Two, three, four. Sit down. Bend them. Relax. Look at the ground. It's going nowhere until he decides to stop. If it takes him a half an hour, it takes him a half an hour until he finally figures it out and let it go and rub. All right, squeezes all four cheeks. This is all you, this is just like in the circling game. We didn't care when you led Jacqueline and then you lifted in the, in the of liberty. It was just like, just go, move your feet. Squeezes all four cheeks, charge, and let go. Right? And doesn't matter where you go. And bend them. So it's a great exercise. You're teaching them go, and you're teaching them how you can control. All right? Squeeze with all four cheeks. Don't care where you go. And pop it off. And bend them. Good, Jocelyn. That's exactly what I want to see. Hang in there and let it go and rub.
Good. Focus is very important here. Perfect. And just rub. Make sure you let them reins loose. Think of your leading in your circle. Just pinky, just point your pinky to where you want. There you go. Awesome. Doesn't really matter. Don't be too controlling, just as long as he's moving. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you away from here by creating a disturbance. So he doesn't want to hang out here. Good. Awesome. So this is one of them times when I just I just like kind of look where where they're going, and then when they now I make the decision where they're going, and I just hold my hand up instead of going against them. I'm like, all right, where's he want to turn? And then I put my hands up like I I was wanting to go that way. Be real deliberate with your moves. Don't be yes. Like get your hands up and. Exaggerate to teach. See how you're just, if you're wanting him to move, then ask him to move somewhere. Meaning, if you want a big left, then hold your hand up. Yes, make it very good. And very good. Awesome. Don't be sneaky. Good. Now let's just see if you can get him to the other end of the arena. I want you to put his nose on that barrel. Focus on that barrel. That's all you do is. And relax. Take your life. Our good job. So you can just play great little games like that right there. All you're doing is thinking as I'm teaching this horse how to go forward, and then I'll just direct him after, and I really don't care where he goes. Now she's focusing on the faucet over here, and she's going to go stick this horse's nose on the faucet. Start taking the life out of your body. Good job. Good. Hang up there. You're doing great. And just rub. I want you to trot again. Squeeze with all four cheeks. Don't kick. And just post faster. And good. And relax. Good. Doesn't matter if you walk, that does not matter. All right, now do you want to trot again? Okay, squeeze with all four and post faster and harder and stronger and taller and taut. Yes, yes, and quit. Good job. So don't keep posting? Don't keep, yeah, you can keep posting now. Yep. Now, if he wants to quit, just squeeze with all four cheeks and then relax. But, but don't push the envelope. So go ahead and walk now. That's okay that he's walking. It, you just reward him for going into a trot, but you gotta use your head on how much do I wanna push the envelope so I don't get thrown off. Okay. Now again, squeeze with all four cheeks, focus. Okay, don't get doing this. That's not, just squeeze with all four cheeks and use that makati, the end of that if you have to, right? Relax your body now. Like once he gets going, then you gotta relax. No big deal there. And more forward rather than pulling him away from that. He'll keep going to the left, I'm pretty sure, right? So don't get too pulley with your reins. All right. Now you'd like to trot, wouldn't you? I can tell. So just, just start trotting with your body. And harder and longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. And you relax a little bit and you rub your horse. Good job. Just good. I seen you squeeze there and that kept him going. Great. Great. That's okay. Reward him for that. Rub him and then just ask to go again. Squeeze and trot your body. Trot your body. Taller 
and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and whip your and quit and just relax and now it's your judgment on to keep and going now we go with the forward squeeze with all four cheeks and relax and rub now if you want to keep them going just do it over and over again squeeze with all four come on put your hands out there like you're in the circling yes you understand the circling game how you lead in the circling game Jacqueline yes. then you would do that with your left hand you want to yes stick that left pinky up there yes good squeeze all four cheeks there you go and just remember how remember the end of your makati is your stick in the circling game so just go to whipping yourself and get it longer and longer till you tap him good direct direct pinky up babe pinky up yes get that pinky up keep them moving pinky up yes and then you're back into neutral you're doing great you're doing awesome see we've now we've got momentum now we can direct the feet remember here pinky up direct ring yes come on you have to reach for your Makati, you have to reach for your Makati, no big deal. Great job. Okay, girl, I'm going to get you to post into a canter. Just post harder and harder and harder. Lean ahead. Come on, lean up there. Focus. Harder and harder and harder and harder. Post faster and harder. You can do it. You're doing great. Post faster. Come on. Come on. And relax. Relax. Reward him for doing that. Rub him. That's good. He does not have to keep going. That's good. Great job. A nice trot she's going here. Stand that shoulder up there right there for me. Yes. Bump it just like you did there. Yes. Yes. Remember how you did it at a walk? Keep doing it. Remember, when you take a hold of your horse, be ready to squeeze. Anytime you grab horse's reins, that they're pretty nice horse, they're gonna slow down. So be ready to, to kind of keep them moving forward. Exactly, now stand that shoulder up for me so I know you can do it without me. Yes. Good job. Keep focusing, a long focus. Yes. Good, come on. Post, keep them posting. Good job. You think we can get one more canter on this direction before we quit for the day? So just canter longer, faster, harder, and whip yourself if you have to. Yes. Long focus. Come on, whip yourself. Yes, come on. Hand way ahead. Come on, just keep squeezing. Faster, faster, longer, harder. Come on. Come on. Harder, longer, faster. Come on. You can do it. Good job. Good job. You're fine. Don't pull. Don't pull. Just be along for the ride. Good job. Good job. Doesn't even matter here that you keep going. It's just the fact that he did it. Yes. Good job. Big, hold that hand out. Put the reins in one hand, get your Makati. Other hand, you're going to the right, so you need, yes. Look, focus. Good, and relax. Good job. Great job. And then let go, and just do it and do it. Forward is more important. Focus, yes, and then back to neutral. Good job. Remember that pinky up. For a direct rein, yes, yes, good job. And just ride. See, your bit rhythm in your body will teach him to keep going forward. Good job. Forward is more important. Yes, come on. Good job. Back to neutral. Nice. See how nice loose rein she's got? Horse has got a nice arc in his body right there. Awesome. Forward is more important. Keep them going forward and that Makati will help you as much as anything. Good job. Great job.
Great job. See how you're not pulling on them? That's awesome. Awesome. Forward is more important than reining him around. Yes. Whip yourself and long and good and relax. Good job. You are awesome. I think you're going to be trained horses instead of teaching kids. Okay. 